Trainer Emily here, and this is Sandia, and welcome to Training Tip Tuesday. This week we're going to kick off our new series on tips for um, working with shy or fearful dogs. This topic in particular is one of my favorites, honestly. I have a shy and fearful dog at home. Usually it's pretty obvious to tell which dogs are shy and fearful. They're cowering, they've got their tail tucked. They tend not to move a lot and freeze. And in real severe cases, they won't eat anything. Um, luckily, Sandia seems to be not so fearful that she uh, won't eat. But the first thing I wanna get out of the way is a lot. there's a lot of myths out there about why dogs are shy, why some dogs are shy and some are not. A lot of people think that if you get a rescue dog and it's shy, it must have been abused. And the truth is that's actually a very rare scenario. The vast majority of shy dogs aren't abused. They simply didn't get the right um, social exposure or experiences during the crucial time in their development. So there's a point between uh, week three of age and roughly week 12 to 16 in which shy dogs um, or any dog must be socialized to people. It's literally called the fear period. If they don't get enough exposure to the right kinds of social experiences, then it leaves an imprint on them for the rest of their life and they're usually shy for the rest of their life. And also I don't want to discount the fact that there are other factors as well that can contribute to shyness. Um, a lot of times we don't want to admit in the, in the training and behavior world that genetics play a, a part, but they do. Just because your dog is born to a shy mother does not automatically mean that they are going to be a shy adult, but it's certainly a, a contributor and it makes them more susceptible than others. And otherwise, there's also uh, some interesting stuff on different things that happen during their um, fetal development. So when they're, they're unborn inside the mother, there's actually some things that can influence whether or not they're more shy or more easily stressed as well. So that's why most dogs end up being shy. As an adult, it, it's a little bit harder to work with a shy dog. Often they seem like they're less motivated, but they are often just really nervous about the situation. So you have to create situations when you work with them um, that are at levels they can understand. So thank you very much for tuning in this week. Next week, we'll continue this series and talk a little bit more about some things you can do if you have a shy dog. Have a good week.